Hello and welcome to the short tutorial video on getting started with Air Magnet Spectrum XT. As I launch the program, you will see that one of the first questions I am asked is what Wi-Fi card I would like to use with Spectrum XT. I'm going to use my Proxim card today. Using a Wi-Fi card with Spectrum XT will give me additional views into access points and client devices that are in my environment. This can be very helpful when analyzing the Spectrum. The next question I'm asked is which antenna I'd like to use with my Spectrum card. I'm going to use the internal antenna that's actually built into the USB adapter. However, if I were using an external antenna, such as one of our directional antennas, I would indicate that here. As the program loads, we can take a look at the two main areas of the home screen. On the left-hand side are a series of informational windows that are fixed. They will not change. On the right-hand side, there are a series of graphs and views that can actually be chosen by the user. I will go through how to do that later. The first step for getting started is to choose which band you'd like to investigate. I can choose to look at the 2.4 GHz band. I could look at any individual chunk of the 5 GHz band. I could also look at the 4.9 public safety band, or I could mix my way through all the bands. For our purposes today, I'm going to stay focused on the 2.4 GHz band. Now let's look at some of the views on the left-hand side. First up is a channel summary. The channel summary is going to show me a list of all the channels in the band I've chosen. It's also going to show me their current power levels and some duty cycle information for how long we're seeing RF on the channel versus off the channel. Moving down, I can see a list of interferers that are currently detected. I can also see a list of any access points that I'm currently seeing. And again, this access point information is available to me because I integrated with my Proxim card. Below the interferers and devices window, we can see a quick summary telling me what channels currently have access points and stations on them. Moving over onto the right hand side, I can actually see the graphs that I've chosen to view right now. Now, if I'd like to change these graphs, I can do so very easily by coming to the drop down and picking which graph or display I'd like to see. I have a choice between spectrum graphs, as you can see, or Wi-Fi graphs that are specific to the Wi-Fi network. These Wi-Fi graphs are only available because I've chosen to integrate with the Proxim card at launch. If I did not choose a Wi-Fi card, most of the information available in the Wi-Fi graphs would not be available. I'm going to go ahead and leave my graph on real-time FFT, but I can also make some configuration changes to this graph. So I've decided that I'd like to pull the duty cycle information off. I find it too distracting. So I'll come over to the configuration options for the chart. I'll say show duty cycle, and I'll change that to no. There. Now my real-time FFT has had the duty cycle removed. My screens are set up the way I want them, and I'm ready to begin my debugging actions. If you're setting up your screens along with me, you'll be ready for debugging as well. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and thank you for choosing Air Magnet Spectrum XT.